What better place to fall in love than on a battlefield? <laughs> what better place to flirt with someone than when you are in so much danger? Emotions are heightened, adrenaline's running. So What's up YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back to my first time blind playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. I'm Shenanigans, you can call me Shan. And being honest, I don't know what we're gonna do today. I kinda just wanna get in the game and see what I feel like. Last episode was crazy. We went and we did Soldier's Peak and we met this former possessed Grey Warden, cleared out the keep, I, you know, in, you know, keeping with what Duncan has kind of taught Shen, she did let the mage there, she didn't punish him and she did let him continue his research as long as he's doing it ethically and I'm hoping that, I don't know, whoever might stay there or stay behind will watch him and make sure that's what's going to happen. We might have also done a little bit of flirting last episode. It was so funny. A viewer was like, wow, you quickly moved on from Duncan. <laughs> but, you know, Shen, she was locked in that tower for so long. So I feel like she has to grab at every opportunity for life that she can. Like there's she gets to experience, she's probably experiencing so many different things, so many big things at once. And, uh, you know, why not, why not try everything out um, is how I kind of view it. She wants to experience and what better place to fall in love than on a battlefield? <laughs> what better place to flirt with someone than when you are in so much danger? Emotions are heightened, adrenaline's running. So I think that's just how she's looking at it. I think Duncan is probably in the back of her mind often, especially because Alistair still seems to be greatly affected by it. He's talked about it, I think, at least once when we were in Lothring. But yeah, so um, not a big intro today. I just want to get in the game and kind of decide what we were going to do. So let's get into it. One thing of note. Oh, no. Some of you all are gonna be so upset <laughs> because some of you guys do not like that I am using mods for my very first playthrough and you're very vocal about it. Um, well, someone suggested to download the Sten <laughs> Canary update mod and I did because I couldn't find any photos of what it like looked like, the actual mod. I saw some for ones that were called like Sten over the years or there's another one, but nothing for the base mod that you had to have, which is like, I think it's called like Canary Update. So I downloaded it and I forgot that I had until right <laughs> now. <laughs> so I, I wanted to see what it was look like. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this, but look how handsome he is. Look at that. He looks so cool and he's so handsome. But I know it's probably going to upset quite a few of you. Um, and here's the thing. I will likely not be able to play, get through another playthrough of Dragon Age Origins because I'll play this and then my goal is to go straight into Dragon Age 2, then Inquisition, then to the Veil vale Guard. So that's going to be quite a bit of time. And while you guys did a first playthrough, like you've had some time to kind of add mods in here and there and play the game in a way that was fun and different. And that's kind of what I want to experience. I just want to experience it the way that you guys have, that in a way that I think is fun for me in a first time playthrough where, because I'm not gonna be able to come back to this for a while. So, you know, in most cases, I probably wouldn't use as many mods in a first playthrough, but because I'm not gonna get back here very soon, for me personally, it makes sense. I'm only going to get likely this one playthrough for a while. So I want to experience the extra dog slot. I want to experience Lock Bash because I want to focus more on story and characters and lore and this world. And I'm not as focused on like, oh my gosh, it might break the game. If it does, it does. I'm still going to have fun. I mean, look, I'm having so much fun. Why do you want me to have less fun? Do you hate me? Is that why? You just don't like me. You don't want me to have as much fun as I'm having right now. Because I can uninstall them. But I think it would be less fun. <laughs> I think it would take away the fun just a little bit. Because now I don't have to worry as much about, oh my gosh, I have to have 
a robe. I have to have a tank. Like, maybe I don't, I can take who I want and see how those characters interact. And, you know, I can always have Baggins with me instead of, like, sacrificing a slot. So, I know it upsets you guys, but for me, it's really adding to my playthrough and I'm having a lot of fun with it and I don't want to have less fun with it. <laughs> I'm really, really, really enjoying this game. So, but to be, just to put it out there, I don't know if I'm going to keep this Sten thing. I honestly forgot it was there. I And now I'm sitting down to record and we're here. So, didn't have time to take it off. <laughs> what? You, I mean, he does look really handsome though. I really love it. That makes me super excited to see what the Knari in Dragon Age 2 looks like. Because I think that's where this comes from. But there is also another mod that I added, but I only have it for gifts. This is like a storage mod. So my gifts are in On here. It. And that is so, um, see, they're right here. And so I don't accidentally like sell them or give them away. I haven't done anything with these because I don't even know what that is. I think that they seem a little overpowered. There's some armor in this armor stand that seemed a little overpowered and a weapon on the rack. And I was like, nah, I'm good. I just want to use the storage. So that's where we're at. Oh, I, I'm so, I think it's so funny that I forgot that I did this to Sten. <laughs> but I do think he looks so handsome. And I can't wait to have more conversations with him over it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our journal. Because I'm thinking what I want to do. Oh, and that is one thing. So in between this i also when i did the sten update i logged in obviously to see what he looked like and i went to lothering which i was really surprised about because i'm pretty sure when i left lothering it gave me a pop-up like that said something about like you can't return here or something but it let me and i did finish up the quests there that were kind of like on the board and you know it gave me a little bit of a chance to kind of practice combat without anyone watching <laughs> which you know it's hard to do on a first time playthrough I'm experiencing all this for the first time on camera and I'm making mistakes and you know I, I'm just asking for a little bit of grace as I learn this game and the system and everything else um, but yeah it gave me a second to kind of practice and I did finish up those quests uh, which is why you don't see them on my quest log anymore but I didn't talk to any characters and I really didn't do anything other than that. Except when I went in to finish up a quest in the temple, there was a guy there that told me the circle is getting ready to possibly experience the rite of annulment. Which I don't know how Shen would feel about that. I don't think she loved her time in the circle, obviously. But I don't think she would want them completely gone either so I, I personally am really torn I think Shen as a character would be really torn like would she try to push the group towards I don't know going towards uh, Red Cliff which is where Alistair has some contacts or would she say look I am from here and I think people that I know and that maybe at one point cared about need help I don't know I don't know or would she say, I'm not even ready to like deal with all this yet? <laughs> lots of thoughts, lots of thoughts. Okay, so I think that there could be an argument made for soldiers, soldiers, I'm not sure how to say it. Because it does kind of look like it's on the way towards Red Cliff. So story-wise, I think that it could be like a stop that we make, you know? So I think we might head there and then maybe to Red Cliff? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, wait, I have to gather my party. We do Soldier's Pass first. It did, it did kind of look like it was on the way. So let's just... See. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Okay. I like this party. Yeah, see, because it's like... Yeah, that makes sense. And then, oh, wait, maybe not. Yeah, this looks like a stop off. So, I love it. Love it. <laughs> oh, hello. 
What are you doing? Who are you? Felix. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people travelling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Oh, are you asking me to find your real? Oh, no, no, no. I sent my elf to do that. I mean, I sent my helper, Taryn. <laughs> nice fella, that. Your elf? Taryn. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Yep. Felix de Grosbois. Merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Am I the only one who ever, like, whenever you hear, allow me to introduce myself, you think, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is O. Oh, <laughs> that me. Does me? Like, I do. <laughs> That's what went through my mind when I was listening to him say that. Um, let's see. Also, my L. So, not a great start for him. Hmm. I'm one of the Grey Wardens. A Grey Warden? That's quite impressive, isn't it? My word. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? And yeah, what's the catch? The catch? Yeah, I, uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch? is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. But you're a Grey Warden, however. Darkspawn aren't an issue for you, are they? How much do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. This seems so shady. <laughs> what is this guy trying to get me into? What the heck? Okay. Yeah, how do I know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. <laughs> He said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? Like low price of nothing? <laughs> well, I don't understand. Okay, what does it do? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? I do. I mean, I guess I could use it. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. And if it doesn't? No, I'll be back. A personal golem sounds good. And if it doesn't? Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so now let's look at our map. How far does it take us? Oh, it's all the way down here. So now it doesn't make sense? Okay. Hmm. Redcliffe Castle... Oh my god, I went... Well, I guess it's on... Could have gone either way. Alright, I think now I am going to head to Redcliffe Village. And then after Redcliffe, maybe do this? Because it kind of just makes sense to me, story-wise. Like, you would kind of keep moving on in that direction. Oh, I can't travel. Oops. Just a joke. Just a little joke, guys. Can't travel yet. Let's see. 
How do I leave this place? Yep. I guess we're gonna go to Redcliffe. Let's see how Red Club is all about. I don't know. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Okay. I'm not going to like this, am I? I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Red Cliff. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon, exactly? I think he did. You his son? Oh my, is he? Are you his son? No, no, oh, okay. I'm not his son. Okay. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because... Well, <gasps> because my father was King Marrick. What? Which made Kaelin my half brother. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. Is that. Is that the reason he wanted to be at the battle so bad? Not only because of Duncan, but maybe also because of his half brother? Because did Kaelin know? Did Kaelin. <laughs> so you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. Oh my goodness. I wonder if he'll be upset if I say that. That's kind of funny. Should I try and lighten the mood? Why did you wait to tell me this? What? You don't think you... I mean... Why does it... I'm, I'm not sure. It, I, was it my business to know? Like, we've known each other, what, all of like maybe a week? And I expect him to tell me that? Doesn't that make you heir to the throne? I want to say both of these things. So you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard? Ha! Yes, I guess it does <laughs> I should use that line more often. Aww. <laughs> I would have told you, but... It never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. Oh. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. That's why Duncan wouldn't let him go and he sent him with me to the beacon during the fight? I mean, I don't know. Some things just aren't my... They're not my business. <laughs> like, you know, I don't think he should be apologizing. I wish that that was an option. Does... Does Locate know? Oh, no. Does he? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. Um, I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. It's really sad. She know the truth. What an awful thing to do to a child. I want to say both one and two. I want to say what I would like to say is two and then be able to come back and say, did she know the truth? That is an awful thing to do to a child. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. 
We're young, exactly. You think the Arl... Arl... That's so, why is that such a hard word for me to say? <laughs> I feel like I trip over it. Um, and you think he'll help us? You were young. I just want to... I want to say, like, you were young. I want to, like, comfort him. I personally don't think it's a big deal that he didn't tell me, but he obviously does and he feels bad for it. So yeah, you were young. And raised by dogs. <laughs> or I may as well have been the way I acted. But maybe all young bastards act like that. Oh. <laughs> all I know is that the Arl is a good man and well loved by the people. He also was King Kalen's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. <laughs> you command my prince. I don't want to say that. I don't know how you'd take that. Let's see. All right, you. What does that make me? The reason I think we have a chance of Aww, setting things right. Oh, that was so nice of him. Yo, he's so cute. He's so cute. So cute. All right, let's um see. Edgecliff has two all for us. I wonder how I should feel about that. That's kind of crazy. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Why? Have you come to help us? Um, I am on important business. I need to see Amon. The all? Yeah. Then you, you, you don't know. Has nobody out there heard? Ah, oh, wait, I've heard that he's been sick, if that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. Oh, no. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Okay. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. <laughs> Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead, and those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Hey. Okay. So nobody's heard from the castle in days. The, the Arl could be dead. What? Oh, we are walk. Oh, sis, walking into something though. <gasps> Wait. Happen? It's Thomas. Yes. And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the Arl. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger <laughs> and covered in mud. Covered in mud? <laughs> Alistair? He remembers. It is you, isn't it? You're alive. This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Ten Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Oh, hang on. You don't believe Logan, Loghain's lives? Lies? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Kaelin risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the King. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. God. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So, I feel like... This is the first person who, since that battle, has trusted us. He was like, I don't believe the, that story that Logan told was stupid. This is very positive. I like where this is going. Okay. I can help drive them back. What evil things are you talking about? Why are you telling me this? Huh? 
What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead. Decomposing corpses returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. I mean, I like this guy. I like that he seems to be very... He seems smarter than anyone else we've run across who were just so ready to believe all of that stuff that Loghain said, so I want to help him. If he can help, I think helping him will help us, right? So, of course we'll help. Of course we'll help. There are no darkspawn here and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. Then, if there's a chance to rescue the R, we have to try. That's right. Come on, Sten. Perhaps. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Do I have time to ask him? Tell me, I really want to know more about him. I mean, what about yourself? This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details, don't you think? We will have to fight for our lives Sorry. very shortly. Ooh, Lundau is knowing a little bit about you. Too much to ask? I... I beg your pardon, my lady. Where are my manners? What would you like to know? So kind. What will you do if the Arl is dead? I don't know. If Connor lives, he'll be the Arl and I'll need to help him with it. If he's... well, I don't want to think about that. Why have you stayed? Why didn't you just leave? After the first attack, I wanted to go for help, but I couldn't just leave these people. The Bannon gear up to battle Loghain while Darkspawn loom to the south. Loghain won't send anyone, so Redcliffe is on its own. Are you a skilled warrior? Is he going to help us fight? Skilled enough to know there are many far better than myself. <laughs> That's a very honest answer. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have any family? Oh, you mean, am I Oh married? my god, was I hitting I... on him? No, no, I've never had the pleasure. If I did, I'd be lucky to find a woman as lovely as yourself. What? Huh? Flatterer. <laughs> if I may be so bold, what of you, my lady? Are you married? Wait, are we flirting with each other? This is, this is not what I intended. I was just talking. Oh, no. I am a mage? That's such a weird answer. I kind of want to say it, though. I'm a mage. Mages can marry, <laughs> or so I'm told. Thank you. They can indeed have the man is brave enough. I can think of several reasons why one would be willing to be so brave. That is but so I am cute. too bold, oh. my lady. This is hardly the time for such banter. Please accept my apology. For what? I'm not offended. <laughs> You're too kind, my lady. Amongst many other things. Oh, oh my god, that that actually has me blushing, like, for real blushing in real life. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps we should get back to the matter at hand. I can't even, like, talk. I'm so, like, flustered. That's so cute. Good, then my secrets are still safe. <laughs> I was worried for a moment there. Oh my god, all right. All right, let's see. What exactly are the things that attack the village? My cheeks hurt from, like, smiling so hard. That's so funny. I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. You have some of the knights here? I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Hmm. Their search for the urn, that's right. Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. 
Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Why are you in the Chantry? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. Oh, that makes sense. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Right, so what happens after the battle's over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. To get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Aww. That was funny. <laughs> that was not what I expected at all. Cute, cute, cute. This game I'm scared, so mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. I want to go home. Where's father? Why can't we go home? Let's get started. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. Can you do that? I... I guess so. It's really sad. See what I can put my hands on um, before we leave this Let area. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Wow. Blessed, blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, sacrificed to the holy flame. Uh, now everyone's May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. You are of elven blood and a stranger. Yet you defend a home that is not your own. God. <laughs> we are grateful for that. I was really worried about where that was going for a second until I read the rest of the sentence. I was like, oh, what, what are we going to say here? Is there a reason I shouldn't help? Many elves claim we wouldn't do the same in return. I would like to think that is not true, but I cannot speak for all. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I would like your blessing? You would? That is, I mean, of course. I'd be happy to. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, sacrificed to the holy flame. May the chant reach the maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. Listen, I don't know how Shen actually feels about, like, the religion, because she is an elf, and I do think they have their own gods in this game. But... I think that, <laughs> you know, in a fight like this, you kind of take all the help that you can get. Um, and if a blessing may help, like, um, I think she'd be down for it. Sorry, am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Bothering me? I shouldn't be such a crybaby. With mother gone now, I have Goodness. to be brave. I just, I can't help myself. I'm so frightened. Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Ash, like, little brother? Don't worry, I'll look. You will? Yeah. Thank you so much. Please find him. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? Oh, in no. In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jetta? What happened here? What? I missed something. Was that like a, a missed quest that I had or something? Uh-oh. 
And that is one thing. This is a first time playthrough. I'm not following like a guide. So if that was a missed quest, <laughs> this is just a good time to remind everybody that like that's going to happen. I'm going to miss quests sometimes because I've never experienced this before. And I don't know like where everything is or the order of things or things are going to get lost. And, you know, some quests may not even make sense for my character to follow because I'm on a mission and I want this to be a very like character oriented, story oriented uh, first play for me. I'm not like a super completionist, so it doesn't necessarily bother me. But there have been some people upset when I miss things in the comments. So I just want to remind you all, it's a first time playthrough. I'm sure all of us on all of our first playthroughs, we miss a lot of stuff and it's going to happen. And we just have to be, we, we just kind of have to find a way to be okay with it. You know, it's going to happen. I'm okay with it. I want you guys to be okay with it because I just want us to all enjoy this together enjoy the story and nerd out in the comments and everything like that so i don't know i'm guessing that's what that was it was a missed quest i i'm not sure though uh did i put my hands on everything oh who's this lady good day oh okay is this where humans keep all their wisdom your behavior makes much more sense to me now <laughs> oh my god you know, we don't have the men we need and their numbers just keep growing each night. Well, sure, they take the dead and they, you know... I don't want to think about that. It's good you're going to help us. We could use all the help we can get. Alright, talk to Sir Purr. Him and his knights are stationed at the windmill. And then the Murdoch is in the town square. Alright. Oh, like literally right here. Is this Murdoch? Still no yep. sign of them coming back. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Oh, they wardens. do. I'm right here. <laughs> oh, look. Well, they do. <laughs> uh, um, and why would you think that? For more reasons than you care to hear, I bet. Ew. Still, there's no reason to think Bantigan's lost his mind. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Oh, I want to... Yeah, I want to use my persuade. Have faith, good man. We will defeat this either... We will defeat this evil together. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Um, Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. <laughs> I like how he went, like, very, like, soft speaking. It was like, thank you. Thank you for reminding that. And then he's like, right back to being gruff again. Like, what are you doing, friend? Who are you putting on this play for? I guess everyone else around us, but... All right, what can... How's morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Okay. What? Why does he refuse to talk to you? That's a great question. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. Uh? So he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. And there's nobody else that can do the repairs? Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? <laughs> I don't know. What if they're women? <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. 
What good will that do anyone then? Yeah, true. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Okay. Yes, sir. So the next what person. What should we do until then? Is this with Smithy? Ah, yeah, it is. He's go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Open this door or I break it down. <laughs> uh, I might as well because that's an option. So I feel like I should use it. I do try to use like the persuade, intimidate options whenever they're available because I put points into them. I should do it, right? Um, open this door or I break it down. I am. Uh, all right, just don't destroy <laughs> anything, damn you. All right. Right. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> so, I open the door. I've got nothing of value for you. The militia's taken whatever I had. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. I just wanted you to open the door. I definitely... I didn't. Yeah, I'm not here to rob you. I just want to talk. I'm so sorry. Not much oh goodness I want to say both of these not much to live for why is that I'm not here to rob you I just want to talk um I think I probably need to clarify I am not a danger to you so I say this and then hopefully I can say or I can ask him why he doesn't have much to live for later is that so then talk oh, perfect then. <laughs> smells like a brewery in here <laughs> uh why have you locked yourself in the smithy my girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you intend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. Oh my god, that's what I was going to say. I just was going to say I can try. To try. Is that so? <laughs> Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. Do my best, yeah. I can definitely try to find her. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise. I'll find her. Guess one way or another. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens Morgan. from trees? Is this a promise we will not keep? No! Let's hope I not. <laughs> What's this? Stop it. No. I said nothing to Stop you, it, human. And what? I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murder could be pleased. If you need anything done, well, just Thank let me you. know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Stan and Morgan. Okay, did any of y'all have mamas that were like, that would like talk to you a little bit? Like, you're like, when you're acting just a little bit bad and they don't want to draw a whole lot of attention to it and they're like, Shan, stop it right now. That's how I want to talk to Morgan and Stan in this moment. I'd be like, Stop talking like that in front of other people, in front of strangers. <laughs> you do. You're like, I need to like put him in a corner. <laughs> you need time out. <laughs> You're not helping me in this moment. You're embarrassing me. All right, so let me look at my journal really fast. Okay, find Bevan. Lost in the castle. Okay. Oh, I need to talk to Sir Perth. He is by the windmill, I think they said. All right. We got, can we go in there? What's in there?
Oh. What did that say? Dental? Dernal. I was like, dental? They have dentists? Yes, what can I do for you? Nothing for now. Oh, Very well. I'm guessing this is someone I... Oh, yes, oops, what can I do to. for you? Very well. Okay. That's somebody I probably have to talk to later on, maybe? I love that I'm just, like, stealing from this man, though. Right under his nose. I just walk in his bedroom, and he's fine with it. <laughs> I guess he does. He probably sees, like, all these people who's like, oh, my gosh, armor, armor. Kunari, very big, very scary. What am I going to do to stop them from walking in my bedroom? Yikes. What is that? You know, you never did tell me how you passed the time in that cage for so long. No, I didn't. So, <laughs> what did you do in there? A training exercise. I would observe an object and then try to think of all the words in your language which began with the same letter as its name. Oh! That Wait, just wait. Oh. You're joking. He's again, not being serious. <laughs> no. Oh. You are not telling me that you played I Spy against yourself for 20 days? There are a lot of things in Rotary <laughs> that begin with G. Ten. Stop it. I love him. I love him. I know that the Canari are a very hot topic, and I. I likely do not understand why yet because Sten is the only one that I know and I haven't looked into their culture, but oh my goodness, I love him. I think he's I think he's so precious. Wow, this game really loves people with red hair, don't they? Because like Colin had I mean, I feel like we meet a lot of redheads in this game. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. Well, I mean, at least he's trying. That's nice of him. Uh, yeah, just call me my name. Call me Shin. Yeah. As you wish, and thank you kindly. Yeah. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well, with a Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. I feel like almost every, literally every NPC we have come across, I think, I can only think of one who hasn't. Every single NPC that we come, we've come across have, have been good looking, except for Loghain. Literally, I think he's the only one who I've been like, ooh. Oh my. <laughs> Which probably I should have recognized then at the time. Like, oh, this guy's not like the others. This guy's probably evil. Um, it's such a beautiful game, though. Everyone is just so pretty and handsome, and I love it. I have some questions. Ask me whatever you wish. Hmm. Where can I get supplies? I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he had. Beyond that, you might try the village store. It's locked oh. up, but there may be items of use still within. Okay. I do not know. What about the tavern? Ugh. A fellow named Lloyd runs it. He refuses to close and evacuate to the Chantry. I suppose he might still have something to sell you, though I wouldn't encourage dealing with a fool. He's a profiteer and nothing more. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Just what is the Arl sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Why did they believe anyone could find the urn? The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. No one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. 
I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. So the knights left the castle defenseless? Like, that's a question, but I'm gonna ask it. Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. The thought chills my blood. As you wish. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the okay. monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Well, I did the thing with Hannah, right? That he's he's meaning just for like me. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. All right, carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Wait. Okay. So my quest is updated. All right. Seek out. To, oh, seek it out for the night. Oh. Ooh, there's stuff over here though that I can touch first. Oh, it's sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. <laughs> Silver chalice, okay. Yes. Maybe something to sell later on. No word from the castle. No, all is still, as it has been for days. And it is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The Arl lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chat. For you. He said, stop putting that kind of energy oh, out into the universe. We are not going to have that. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. <laughs> Lloyd. <laughs> That's what I just recently filmed the human origins, the human noble origins. And that's what I named my Mabari, was Lloyd. That's funny. Oh, there's an elf in the corner? What do you what do you know about the elf in the corner? I didn't even see Not an elf. Much. He's very quiet. Oh. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother. But I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. So how's business been? What business? Yeah, such a weird question. Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a <laughs> greasy pig. Oh and if I didn't need this job so badly, I... You don't care for him, I take it. He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. Okay, how can we get him to not do that? Yeah, I could talk to Lloyd about this. Exactly. No, no. That'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet. But I'll be fine. And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. I'd leave if you had some help. You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. And what would I have to do in return? Nothing at all. I'd be glad to help. That's very kind of you. I... I don't know what to say. Can you be at the Chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you... fighting tonight? That's... good to hear. I didn't know that. Here. She believes in me? Keep safe. Okay. Alright, where's the elf in the corner? Oh, literally right behind me, this dude? Not looking for company. I hear your Berwick. What? And you're creepy. How did you know that? <laughs> uh, well, that's my name. Why? Seem awfully nervous. I... no reason. I just didn't know how you knew my name. That's all. Said you were waiting for your brother? My what? Oh, yes. He was supposed to meet me here. And then I got stuck here when monsters from the castle attacked. Look how big that bottle of wine is. It's half its size. Oh my goodness, how much of that has he drank? Oh, that's crazy. 
Yeah, I feel like this guy's super shady. I'm supposed to believe that? Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to... Uh, just leave me alone. What does me have... What, what, you're very pretty and all. What does that have to do with anything? I'm not going anywhere. Start talking. About what? I don't know. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. Oh, this will be easier if you just tell me what you're hiding. I love that. If I... But I never... Oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just... Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Yeah, who are they? Who hired you? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Loghain's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Oh my gosh, Shin would not know this, but I know this because I just, I literally just did the Human Noble Origin. Oh my god. How pay this man? Okay. What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes, honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. That was such good timing. I cannot believe how this lined up. Oh, that's so neat. But I can't, I can't play Shen like she knows it, but I know it and that is so cool. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a oh. bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I mean, that is kind of true. He thought, like, how do you turn down a mission from, you know, even if we think it's the king, a lot of other people are saying, you know, they recognize him as such. How do you turn that down? I don't think you can say no to that. That's a really good point. Let's see. Ah, I think you should help defend Redcliffe. Yes. Put your money where your mouth is. If you just thought you were trying to do, like, serve the king or whatever, make it right. Let's make it right. Defend Redcliffe. Fitting. Yeah. I like it. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Den was on my side. That's so fun. Den, we're going to be best friends. I already know it. I, oh, I gotta talk to this guy. I need to tell him, stop doing what you're doing. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Not at all. Brave words. Brave words. Well, we'll see when night falls. I hate him. We? So... What'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. I need some questions answered. Fine. Make them quick. Huh? Can you be helping defend the village? Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. They're die fighting in the militia. Oh God, no, I'm not going to say that. And be a coward if that's what you want. I'm not like, I don't think Shen's a kind of like intimidating, only every now and then kind of person, not. Then be a coward if that's what you want. Well, yes. I suppose that is what I want. What do you know about what's happened? Not a lot. Castle guards stopped coming in about a week back. It's unusual, too. They were my main source of business. After a few days, I thought it strange enough to ask. But nobody heard anything. Anyone going up to the castle didn't come back. When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. I say we just wait for help to come. Right. Well, why are you still open? I'm not abandoning my tavern because of a few monsters. The second I'm in the Chantry, Murdoch and his men will be here drinking all my ale. Right. Let's talk about something else. Something else I can get for you? Oh, look. Oh, God. Look at that clipping. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that is very cursed. Who are you, anyway? Name's Lloyd. We don't get many elves out Lloyd. here. 
You're a runaway from the city. Oh, a runaway? No, I suppose you could. Never thought about it, really. Something else I can get for you? I'm gonna go. But I hope I didn't like mess it up by already asking her um, for a blessing. What is it you need, child? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the night. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? <laughs> Morale is a powerful <laughs> thing, you know. <gasps> You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? Yes. I will not lie to them not like that. Not a lie. <gasps> but if they think that, it helps them. See? Oh I, love, oh, I love that I took that perk or whatever it's called. What is it called? Like, is it a ability? I, but if they think it helps them... I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive... I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Okay. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. I am. I am doing the same. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I talked to Murdoch, all right. I think, I think that's it. Oh, all right, let's see what happens next. All right, let's see what Murdoch has to say. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. Is that Zaid's voice from Mass Effect 2? Is that Zaid? Is that who I'm hearing? I swear it sounds like him. Maybe I'm hearing it wrong. I love Zaid Masani. I love that man. All right. We're not only ready, we're going to win. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. Hey, I'm ready to make a oh, wait. Is there anything else I can do? I think I did everything, right? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot. Oh, but he where flat is he? out refuses. Okay. Well, tell me about him. He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, okay. he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Let me talk to him. I got this. I have a good feeling about tonight. Me too. All right. Let's, uh, he says he lives near the lake. No, that wasn't Gwen. What was that guy's name? Donald or something? I, I, when I first read it, I thought it said dentist. Lives near the lake. Let me see. Chantry. It's Caitlin. Let's get started. Hello? Is someone in there? Go away! This isn't your home! What? A small human. I say burn it out. Ben, stop it. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? All right, I'll Damn. come out. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Wait, is this Bevan? Or whatever his name is? Yeah, your sister's looking for you, and you're hiding in a closet? You had her worried sick! What is wrong with you? Your sister's looking for you. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. Boy, if you don't go back to that Chantry. I was hiding in a dresser, brave. <laughs> is this your house? Yeah, house hiding in a dresser, brave. I wasn't always in here. I hid when I heard oh. you coming. I was, well, I shouldn't tell you. It's a secret. 
You sure? Maybe I could help you. You could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. I could use that sword to help the village. I... I guess you're right. I should help defend the village, no, shouldn't I? No, not you. Me. Father would have if he were here. Oh. All okay. right. <laughs> Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should... Go back to the Chantry. <laughs> Good luck. I was going to say, he cannot be coming out here like, I'm going to take that sword. <laughs> like, little boy, you go back to your sister right now. I'm going to put you in timeout too with Sten and Morrigan. <laughs> Where do I think it is? Can you go upstairs? Oh, you can. It's probably in here then, huh? Oh, yep. Two-handed, okay. So maybe for Sten? That would be a good sword for him to have, I think. Have him with two-handed stuff. Wait, is there anything else in here? Nope. Alright, so I need to find... Gwyn? Oh, maybe this is his... This is a house? You are very quiet, Sten. Only compared to some... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Right. Is this him? Uh, well, that's it. Oh, it is his house. Wonderful. That's the thing I did. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into I know, my home. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't mean any harm. I'm... Can we start over? Apology accepted. Oh. The name's Dwight. Wow. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. Oh. Redox says he needs your help. So what? You're recruiting for him? Yes. I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Uh... I change your... No, I'm afraid if I don't say this, though, it's gonna go away. I already kicked in his door. You know how, like, real recognizes real? Maybe, maybe, because he seems kind of like an intimidating guy, too. I already kicked in his door. So maybe if I intimidate, I might as well just keep on keeping on, right? So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so I badly. I do. Thank you. Don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because of you. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square <laughs> when those creatures come. I know, I'm sorry, but listen, it's kind of like an all-hands-on-deck kind of situation. So, I don't know. You obviously have a house here. Don't you want to kind of defend it? Or would you just rather it go to shit? I don't know. That doesn't seem good. Stop fidgeting. I don't like being out here, Dwin. Me is giving me the evil eye. Oh, had... Well, he should, because you're a good-for-nothing liar. And a thief. Oh. Well, we don't understand why we're out here. We're out here because I say we're going to help these people. And since I pay your wages, you're going to do as I say. Oh, sure, boss. Whatever you say. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. I don't. I surely. I don't think there's nothing else for you to do. No. And Dressy's Grace, where was that? I swore I saw it somewhere. Yeah, landmark tree. Okay. Highlight button is so nice. Oh, wait, I'm stuck. All right. Oh, it's a flower. On it. Okay. 
And then, let's see. And what can he do with that? So he's just oh, oh, he's just peeing on it. I love that. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. You said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to yeah. the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Has some holy hand. Um, Mother Hannah has some holy amulets with those two. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Okay. You think it would actually help? Of course I do. These are maker's symbols. What better protection could we ask for? I will send some men to collect okay. the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. I mean, it makes sense that Shen would ask that because I was literally like earlier, I was like, I don't know how she feels about religion, but, you know, we take all the help we can get. So, is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes hey. to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you say, I think we're ready. we are prepared to meet the enemy here when they come. Hey. Make her prepare us. We shall be victorious. Let's, let's... Wait... The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Yeah, I'm ready. Wait, do I want to make my stand here? Or do I want to go down where... As you say, we Is are prepared to choosing? meet the enemy here when they come. Make her prepare us. We shall be victorious. Is that what I'm choosing? Like, I either choose to stand up here with them, or I choose to stand with the mayor? I think it's better to stand with the mayor, right? Because they seem to need more help. That makes more sense to me if that's if that's what this is. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering funny. how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Right, I'm ready to make my. Oh, I'd like to talk about Dwin. Why? Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. I'm gonna discuss something else. There's not much time before sundown. Yeah, that's what I was gonna discuss because I am ready. Are you sure? Yep. There's still time left uh -uh. if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything I else. I did it all. I'm ready now. Then good luck to you. Okay. You'll need it. Right. So scary. It's time, men. Know that we fight for the Maker and our hour. Okay. Um, alright. Alright, I guess I'm gonna do some frost weapons since they're, um, like running up. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's see. All right, let's do mind blast. Does that work on him at all? Nope. Okay. Oh, just one left. Is that is that the only one? Oh my god! Look at that big old axe. Oh no. Oh gosh, there's still several. Okay. Right. All right. Let's see. Um, that will hit ten. Oh, stun! Good, 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 good. And then I'll winter's grasp this one just to get it to stop hitting me a little bit. Is that all? The monsters are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. Okay. We need help. Okay. Knights stay here and guard the path. Okay. Come on, we need 
Okay. Where am I going? That way? All right. It's down here. I really wish I had gotten fireball. I think I want to... Oh, I need to, like, level up the fire stuff the next time. I feel like that would be really help. Like, in a situation like this, it would be super helpful. I don't even want you near me in this moment. <laughs> Sten, go get him, Sten. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can I angle this in a way that it won't like super hurt our dudes? Okay, 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 nice. I didn't hit any of them, hell yeah. Nice, I love it. Who's the man? Is that what he just said? That's really funny. Who's the man? It's you, buddy. We all had faith in you. We knew you could do it. All right, let's see. Can I do flame blast? Oh, I hit the I hit the knife though. I hit one of their guys on accident. It's okay though. I didn't mean to. Is there a, oh my gosh, there is a lot, isn't there? Okay, let's see. That looks like it's not. I think that'll be okay. Okay, sweet. Oops, I hit a militia guy. I didn't mean to. I think that's just gonna happen sometimes. We all fight so close. There's so many. But I feel like we're all doing pretty well. Nice! Oh, I love that. Look at us work together. That is so cool. Is Sten okay? I'm out of mana again. Okay. Oh! Alistair said, don't fuck with my girl. <laughs> Knocked him right off. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that made me laugh. All right, let's see. There's so many. How are they ever gonna do this by themselves? It's so much. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love Alistair's like, what is that? What is it? I think it was called like Shield Bash or something. Oh man, this guy's really. Um. Okay. Is that all? Is that all of them? Did we. Okay, what happens now? Is that everything? Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. Hey. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk Aww, beside me. Stop it. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Yeah, there's... Oh, I was happy to defend the village. Oh, I'm not talking about a reward. Yes, you're welcome. There's still much to do. I think I just want to say there is still a lot to do, obviously. But let's focus. Like, let's let's be positive and we're just going to say I was happy to help. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. Wait. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. It's gonna remain silent. I don't know if I would know these, like, these customs, this prayer, so I'll just stay silent. It makes me so sad. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. I, I want to talk to the tavern person. Bella. Is that her? Yeah. I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. 
can't believe I made you a promise. You mean about helping me leave? I... I wouldn't hold you to that. You've already done so much for us. Okay, but you can do better than here. What do you have in mind? About a hundred silver. It would get you out of red clip. That's kind of you to offer, but I'd probably just end up broke somewhere else. Why don't you come with me? Travel with you. That sounds very dangerous. I, I don't think a woman like me would do well in that sort of life. A woman like you, perhaps. I appreciate your offer, but I don't think I can do that. 500 silver? What if I... I made a promise. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. What? You jest, surely. Listen, Why not simply throw all our coin Morgan. into the river? Listen, when you put out good energy into the world, it returns to you. So that is what I'm gonna choose to believe in this instance. Just have faith, Morgan. It's gonna be fine. We, I think we can afford it. I don't really know if we can, but you know what? We're here and that's what we're gonna do. Oh, have it your way then. Oh no. That could get me to Denerim. What would you want in return for such a gift? Thing? A, prom a promise not to work in a place like this, yes. Thank you. I I can never repay this, but I'll think of a way. I swear. Okay, that's my really good de- Oh, disapprove. Oh, I got an approval from Alistair. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't care if you disapprove, you wish. Morgan. Like, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna do good things, and you will just have to get over it. All right, so I think we go up here and was there anyone else I needed to talk to? Do you think I need to talk to Dwin? Did, are they okay? Did they make it? Maybe I don't talk to him though, because I did tell him I'd kill him if he didn't come help. So maybe I shouldn't. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying oh. in the village. And we needed oh. warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Is that why he was, like, saying such nice things to me to, like, butter me up? He gone. Thank the Maker mm. you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are That's you here? Ew. They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my Please. life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I, I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. What about Earl Iman? Is he still alive? He is. He's being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? 
Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Goner, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many, and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. You think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I, I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. It kind of sounds like what the mage from Soldier's Peak was doing because whatever magic they were doing, he was doing, was uh, it was creating all the like undead to rise. Also, it was like necromantic. Um, so, and she said a mage. So there's somebody there similar to what, they have to be doing something similar, I'm guessing, to what's happening in Soldier's Peak. That's so crazy that like lined up like that. Tell me about this mage. Oh my God, yeah, tell me about this mage. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle <gasps> stuff. We discovered he was poisoning what? my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran oh. Logans hired him. He Where's that guy? I cannot say. Oh no, that other guy was working for Howe, not Logan. Okay. Why do I get the feeling you're not telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. But you're not. Is it not if it's true? An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? Why does he have to go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to, for Connor's sake. Hey, okay. I need to decide what to do, I guess. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. Seems you have little choice. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isold, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Look, everyone's redheaded. Redhead, take too long. redhead. I will be by the bridge. I really loved redheads. I'm just now noticing that. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isold, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will... Distract oh. whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Actually, now that I'm looking at his hair, it actually looks more of like brown with a little hint of red. So I'm guessing things just pull red. Good. No, I don't want to say this. That's it. It's all up to me. I can't. What exactly am I supposed to do in there? I wish I knew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know any more right. about this evil force than his soul seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch okay. for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help oh. you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. I don't believe that. I'll rescue you all. Um... I don't believe that. I don't think that they're... I just have to try. I, I'm trying to, to... Just do my best. Yeah. You are brave as well as beautiful. <laughs> Stop it. it. <laughs> the Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. If only this had been... One fool plan on top of another. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. I feel Good like luck. he's buttering me up for something. I feel like... I don't know. I, uh, 
Does it ring true? I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go fa find Caitlyn. Fart. I need to go find Caitlyn really fast, I guess, before I leave. Is she in here? She's in the chantry, right? Uh, yeah. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive. And it's finally over. What are you going to do now? With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage. Maybe separated. But at least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. Of course. Quite welcome. We should leave now, I suppose. There's a wagon taking us north, and I don't want to miss it. Farewell. I did see that there was an option to say something about the sword, but, um, you know, we're just going to take that as a donation to the fight. Okay? <laughs> Sten can use it way better than what they could have, so... The end is upon us. The dead rise, and foul magic spreads across the land. Repent your sins before death. Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness. You need to stop that. I cannot. It is my sacred duty. Magic is everywhere. Everywhere. The time to repent has come. Find someplace else to rant or else. Ah, another one of the damned. They are everywhere. Bye. Magic's everywhere. You're just mad because you can't use it. My. All right. Okay. Ah. No, I actually want to do this one. Okay. Hello? Is there someone out there? Who is it? No. By all that's holy you. I can't no. believe it. Why is he here? What are you doing? Jowen, what are you doing? Maker's breath, how did you How did get you here? get here? I never thought I'd see you again of all people. No. You're the mage. Oh, you, you... You left and you didn't do anything better than this? Chowin. So you're the mage, Lady Isolde mentioned. You've spoken with her. Then, you know I poisoned Arlene. God. For all I know, he's already dead. You had a chance to leave and be better. Just one more crime you've committed then. Exactly. Well, what was his first crime? Just leaving the Chantry? I don't think that's a crime. So maybe I won't say that one. <laughs> he's... I don't know what to say. I think he's not dead yet. He's not? That's a relief. So I can't disappointed. tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear. Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Jowen, he was just trying, I feel like, to downplay the fact that he poisoned... The Arl. What is wrong? <sighs> Serve to know what happened to her. I'm just going to... I am going to be honest with him, though. I, the Chantry sent her away. But I do know where. They sent her to a prison or something, right? Isn't that what they said? Okay. Chantry sent her away. Oh, my poor Lily. She must hate well, me now. If she even lives. What have I done? So... Here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? 
I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Why... why did you poison? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Why did you listen to Terran Loghain of all people? Why wouldn't I? I was desperate and this is Terran Loghain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Why wouldn't I believe him? That's a good point. So the Terran hired you to poison Arl Iman. Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe oh, it. She sought an apostate, no. a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. No. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Oh no, okay. Carl Lamont had no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Why was Azold frightened of her son becoming a mage? I mean, I probably know the answer to that, but we should ask it anyway. Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Oh. Arm. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Well, I don't love that. It's not humiliating, but I do understand like that she wouldn't want people to know because now he can't inherit inherit the land and the title. Oh my goodness, this is a disaster. Oh no, Jowen. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain you said are. he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such you a are. fool. You are a fool. So what do you intend to do about it? I want to say, like, what are you going to do then? I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. He used Shen back in the circle. He didn't tell her anything about what was going on she didn't even know who lily was like she knew i guess of like there's a figure someone joan was interested in why should i believe anything you say exactly you have just made one mistake after another after another after another i'm still the same joan you knew you? if if you're still the same friend i once had i'm hoping you'll help me do what i know is right I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. So how will you make things right? I... 
Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. After that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. A part of me knew right from the beginning that I'd have to face the consequences one day. I knew I'd be caught, eventually. Everything I've done has just delayed the inevitable. I'm done with running and hiding. I need to account for what I've done. All right, so, all right, that's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? You come with me and you help. I'm not sure Why? that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into Jowen. danger. Jowen! Okay, then help. Just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. Wait. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Oh, wait. What? Oh, God, I don't even know what I just selected. Does that mean... What? Where's he gonna go? Oh, no. Wait, what did I do? So... Shit. Just chose badly. I thought that that was gonna help convince him to come with me. Oh, no. Did I just let him go? Oh, shoot. Dang it. Well. It's a thing I did. It's a thing I did. Dang. Oh, there's a note. What does it say? Hold up note. I hope whoever finds this can read it. I hate the thought that my last words might be used as kindling or maker forbid to wipe someone's bum. <laughs> but that's, that's happenstance for you, I suppose. My name is Brandon. I was born in Rainsphere. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Orlesians came to demand I bow to their emperor, I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards, to my house too, but I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually, houses fall, but my honor can be lost only if I let it. They came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time, when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here and I'll die in this place. It seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and rebuilt my home, gone on with my life as if nothing had changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land, and I won't be the one to trade our family honor for apples. Living remnant of us left there, but you'll find my family all the same. Stamped onto the earth, in the wind that wrestles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you, though. Well, that was a really sad note. Go from crying to screaming. <laughs> oh God! Oh jeez, Louise! There's lots of them. <sighs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Oh, they're all dead. I think that is... That was really sad, though. What is this? Oh. Oh, gather my party. <gasps> oh, no! Actually, I'm gonna reload and I'm gonna level up. And that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I think I wanna level this up fully. Yeah, I might as well have committed to it. I should. Alright, what can I do? Let's see. I do flame weapon that gets me closer to fireball, but then Yeah, I think flame weapon and that gets me closer to fireball. Which I do think I need, honestly. Oh, 
Probably combat tactics, since that's already... Yeah. Okay, I think actually shield balance, maybe? Then we get shield wall eventually? Because I should be using them to do, like, this stuff, right? But it doesn't make sense for his character to do, like... Does it? Not making... That feels like it makes more sense for, like, a rogue. Okay. <gasps> Shattering bro... Shattering bros. <laughs> Shattering blows. <laughs> Think... Uh, Two-handed strength. Oh, this sounds really good, though. To not have that attack penalty. Okay. Do that. I'm going to do shock right now. And then I'll come back to this, I think. Hey. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Show me what you've got. There's just the one? You cannot Here we win. Go. Oh, nope. Okay. Oh no. Alright, I need to run around the corner. How many of them are there? Let's see, can I It'll probably hit Baggins, but I feel like that's okay. Because he's not even supposed to be here anyway. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Time for a little cleanup. Hmm. Maybe we do like a flame blast on this one. Okay. Is it just me or do you actually think you have a chance? Sweet. All right. Not bad. All right. Now yeah, we're ready for these things. Okay. <gasps> There's four of them? All right. So I think I want to just kind of let them get close, maybe? Yeah. And, oh, I can't even... Well, I can hit these two. All right. And then maybe I can hit... These, no. Okay. I don't want to position myself here. Let's see if I can get them all. Oh, I can. I think all three with a flame blast and not hit anyone else. Nice. All right. Okay. Anything in here? Probably. Oh, who are... <gasps> Please, don't hurt me. That's her. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down, I'm not going to hurt you. I... I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I... Is she... All right. What happened to everyone? Um, this Miss Daughter. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. But, but the monsters! No, no, no. I've killed them all. It's safe. You can go. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Oh my god, I was just talking about her. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, now where do I go though? I was hoping this was like a long hallway to a, a main area or something. Let's see. So... I think that this might be a good place to stop. We just found Valena, which was really awesome. We're at like almost two and a half hours, so it's a really long episode. We come back, I think we figure out how to maybe get to the second floor, figure out what's next, where we're going, what we're doing. But a lot of stuff in this episode. Oh my gosh, Alistair is, can I talk to him really fast? You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be I thinking can. about this, but I have something to ask you. What? Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. 
<laughs> this wouldn't be some former lover of yours, would it? A former what? <laughs> no. Do you honestly think I would suggest we go see it together? I mean, I don't know. No. I don't know. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, after I became a Great Warden, I did some checking and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. Oh. So, who is she do- oh god. Um... That's wonderful news, right? She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. If you want to, we could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried, but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Um, I think I'm gonna take a chance to like maybe talk to all of them just really quick. Yes. Oh. Hmm. I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. What did you mean about human wisdom? Perhaps if humans sought wisdom beyond the walls of chantries, they might find it now and then. Oh. Don't Kunari have places of worship? Kunari do not worship. Oh, God! I don't love either of those. And what do you know about wisdom? I know that it cannot be found unless sought. There is little point in pursuing this. We should move on. Let's go. As you wish. Gonna disapprove. Oh, he doesn't. <gasps> That's surprising. All right, one more for Morgan, and then. Oh, I didn't mean to get the dog. Do you see anything interesting? <gasps> Where's he going? Oh, oh, a tattered old book. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> All right. And let's see. One more. What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. <gasps> can you teach uh, Can you teach others to become shape changers? Possibly, if I had the desire to. I do not. Oh, of course. Oh, I should have known you'd be a selfish. Oh! And perhaps you'd better find the desire then. And why not? I was told to accompany you and to help you, and that I shall. This may extend to the teaching of my mother's skills in time. For now, I simply do not know you well enough. I promise nothing. Okay, that makes sense. I know this is a weird place to stop and have a conversation, but I didn't get to do it. I didn't do it at the beginning of the episode. I think this has gotten really long. Um, so I want to kind of end here, regroup, come back, figure out how I get to the next place. I don't know, but this was a good episode. We learned a lot about Alistair. He's, is he heir to the throne? I'm not really sure, but he has royal blood. He is a prince of sorts, I guess. And it doesn't seem like, I don't, I don't really know what to do with that information, but we know it. We saved a town where we saved Jowan. And I don't know if that was the right decision at all. I thought I was like persuading him to come with us, but I don't know. I guess he just like ran off. Of course he did. That seems very Jowan like and he'll probably go get himself in more trouble and it'll be my fault because I'll be the one who let him go. Um, but yeah, good episode. Can't wait to see what happens and what the heck is going on in this castle. How do we get anywhere? There's so many dead things running around. We found the Smithy's daughter. That's so good. I'm so glad. That was a good way to end it, finding her. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'd love for you to like and subscribe if you want to follow along on this journey. And uh, until next time.